everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this wedding guest makeup look. It's really simple, really easy, but really, really effective. So if you want to see how I created this look and also a little bit more about my outfit and where I got that from, then just keep on watching. So I'm just taking my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and I'm going to carve out my brows. Today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. So this is the palette, Jaclyn Hill palette volume two, and I've never actually used this one before. Um, I think I've only ever tested one of the eyeshadows out, so I'm quite excited to use it. Um, so I think I'm going to be taking this shade here. Actually, I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm just going to buff that through the crease. So we're going to be doing quite a simple eye look. I'm then going to take this shade here, which is just a really pretty gold shimmer, and I'm going to pack that on the lid. I was going to do something a little bit darker on the outer corner, but all the colours in here are quite purpley, whereas I was hoping there was another dark brown, but I think it'll be fine. I want quite a simple eye look because we're doing quite a bold lip, so you don't want anything too crazy on the eyes, otherwise it'll just look a little bit over the top. So for the eyeshadow, that's literally all we're going to do. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of mascara and false eyelashes and then we can carry on with the rest of the makeup. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation and I'm going to be adding a little bit of my True Match because that's a little bit darker and I like the colour of it with fake tan. I know I do it every time. <laughs> I like the texture of this foundation, it's one of my faves at the minute, but I just love the colour of the L'Oreal True Match, so I just can't get past that. And I'm just taking my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer again, because it's the best, guys, I'm telling you. And then I'm just going to set everything in place using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And this is in the shade 1. I'm then going to take that first shade that we used from the... Uh, Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to run that underneath my lower lash line. Just to give it a bit of a smoky effect. I hope the camera is doing these eyeshadows justice because they are such a pretty colour. They're, I usually wear quite warm eyeshadow anyway, but this is really warm, like almost orangey, and it just looks, oh my god, it's just so pretty. Let's get some bronzer on. Let's use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade medium, because this is not that dark. So it'll look nice with a bold lip. And also, look at the size of this. Whoa! It's massive! And then I'm going to take the same flipping blusher which I've been using from Estee Lauder. I need help finding a new set of blushes. So please, people, comment down below. Um, like either a like a single blusher or a blusher that you love or a blusher set that you love. 
comment it down below so I can branch out because this is literally all I'm using at the minute. Just to me it's like such a pretty colour and it goes with so much. And then to highlight I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette and I'm going to be taking these two shades at the top and I just rub them together and put them onto the high points of my cheeks. And it just gives you a really sheer glow from within highlight. It's so pretty and so friggin' delicate. Right, I think we just need some mascara on the lower lashes. I'm then just taking this Saint Lux lip liner and I'm using it with the Estee Lauder Restless Lipstick and it is the most <laughs> gorgeous orangey red that's my absolute favourite so that's what we're going to be doing today. Honestly, look how nice this is. Oh, it's like a perfect orangey red. Right, so we just need to do something with the hair. So give me two minutes and I'll be right back. So this is the finished makeup look. So all I've done with my hair is curled it and then put it into a low messy bun just so it looks a little bit more done. Um, but I also wanted to show you the outfit which I picked. Um, I'll show you. Oh. I'll do a close-up of the makeup first so you can see. So it's just this really simple gold eye and then the lip and it's so quick and easy to do. You probably have seen that this video for the makeup section is quite short which is <laughs> really unusual for one of my makeup looks but I just love how it turned out. It's really simple, really effective, really elegant and not too over the top. And then this dress I picked out from ASOS. So to go with this hair and makeup look today I wanted to show you this dress which I got from ASOS. So this was £20 and I, th I just thought it was the perfect wedding guest outfit dress so I thought I would put it on with this hair and makeup so you could see the whole look um, and it's also all really affordable as well so I just love the sleeves. The sleeves are my favourite part because they're a little bit sheer and they've just got this lovely um, I don't know what you would call that, like a applique detail over the top. So it's quite modest at the front, but then when you look at the back, it's just completely open at the back. And then the other thing which I really liked about this dress, which I'm sure some of you will appreciate, is that it's got this big elasticated waist. Um, the band is quite thick. So for me, whew, that's quite good at the minute. And then it finishes just above my ankles. So it's kind of like a maxi length. So it looked really nice with some nice red high heels on as well. And I don't know, I just thought this was really girly, really feminine, classy, perfect for a wedding guest outfit. And with this makeup as well, I just thought it was really classic and timeless and nothing too over the top. I just thought it was really pretty. I was really thinking of like that spring, summer wedding, vibe not too over the top but still really comfortable and yeah effortless so that is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed this one and it gave you a little bit of inspiration if you're going to a wedding over the next few months i'm sure lots of you are and as always if you like the video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video bye